So what are the main elements? An important part is making your voice go down. As Canadians, we go up. I'm going to the market today. I might buy some apples. In American, which is accent reduction, we go down. I'm going to the market today. I'm going to the market today. I'm making every word have a long vowel. So when you make these positions and you bring in a little bit of air and you push out the air, you make the vowel long. I'm going to do a bad Hong Kong accent. You listen, see, I apologize. Uh, my name is Hong. Uh, I came to Canada from Hong Kong about five years ago. My name is Hong and I came to, Can to Canada from Hong Kong about five years ago. No accent. It says you need to pause after each group of words. My name is Hong, and I came to Canada from Hong Kong. You have to pause after every word. <clears throat> Voice down, long vowels, and pauses. This pretty girl has her mouth open. Very important. Always have your mouth open. Don't have your mouth closed. Always have your mouth open. Let's try this, these sentences and see if we can hear not only voice down, but we're grouping the words, and later you'll learn the first word is short and the second word is long. Let's do, my friend knows how to speak without his accent. Get ready? My friend knows how to speak without his accent. Let's do it. My friend knows how to speak without his accent. If you go down and you pause, it sounds like you're thinking, which allows you to sound thoughtful and when you speak, people will listen. How many people are able to finish on time? Let's do it. How many people are able to finish on time? If you look at that sentence, it's 21222. Why is it 21? I'll tell you in a future class. We learn how to group words, not guessing, but very precisely. One, two, and three words at a time. Do it again. How many people are able to finish on time? People don't know what happened. People is by itself. I'll tell you later, when the first word's a noun, we say it by itself. People, two words, don't know what happened. Do it again. People don't know what happened. Long vowels are the main element. You take this class and you start speaking without your accent, and somebody says, how come you're speaking without your accent? And you say this, everybody, open your mouth and say, I learned how. Do it. I learned how to make, to make every word, every word have, have a long vowel. That's what it is. Okay, what's the first word? It says same, why, people, time. I get the long vowel not by going time. I use that T. Time, take. People is people. Why? Same. The first letter determines how long the vowel is, and I will teach you that. Today I need to keep my appointment. Let's do it. Today I need. The T is up there and the N is up there. Today I need to keep my, up, my appointment. Do it. Ready? Today I need to keep my appointment. You might be speaking without your accent, just doing these silly sentences because you're learning what to do with your tongue or lips. Last one, many kinds of reasons seem to be important. Ready? M -k, m k Many kinds r of reasons seem to be important. Long vowels, so important. Not this class, but I'll tell you right now. In the next session, in the last session for now, we're going to look at the different letters. Can you see A, E, I, O, U words are all done in the same by opening your mouth. B, M, and P are done the same. C, K, and G words are done the same. D, J, N, and T, F, V, L, R, S, Y, W, and T, H. So all the letters of the alphabet, my father and I have put them in 10 groups. And when you speak without your accent or you want to speak effectively, you need to make these positions. Pause, bring in a little bit of air, push out the air, to make the long vowel. So in the next class we'll look at some sentences that make up these uh, individual letters. Thank you very much.